So, there's this process of suppression and then of, even of our anger can occur. So that's another layer, if you like, on top. Can you see? So if the majority of us put up our hands saying, saying that we think we've suppressed even our anger. <coughs> so can you see that that's just added another layer on top of what we need to start accessing? So if you're suppressed even your anger, that's when there's this tendency to go really into your mind when you live your day-to-day -day life. Because you either live in your mind or you're going to get depressed. Now, many of us probably have experienced depression over our life, right? In, in, in various different forms. If we've experienced depression, then we have a tendency to suppress even the layer of anger, which, have, which is the which is the suppression of all of the other layers that lead to the core emotion. So when we get into this depressed state, or as some people describe themselves as numb emotionally, right? that I can't feel the emotion, like I'm getting really, I can't seem to get at the emotion. If you're feeling numb emotionally, that's a layer that you've placed around, generally around the anger, in order to protect you from feeling the deeper emotions. So depression, numbness, all these layers, or coldness, you might feel a sense of coldness within you, like towards the world and towards people generally. You might feel a, a feeling of distance with everyone you meet and then everyone in your life. Those are all layers of suppression of the actual anger, which then suppresses the <coughs> deeper emotions. So can you see, the, the more suppression that we have, also, the more there's to undo. But in the end, all of these suppressive layers have occurred because we don't want to feel that. So the first thing generally that I do is start praying about why, like I first ask God to tell me why I am angry. What, what, is, what emotion am I trying to cover over? And generally the law of attraction will be showing you that even at the moment you're asking God that. The second thing is then, generally what I try to do is start praying about what am I afraid of about that emotion? What's my fear about this cause of emotion? And what that's done generally is allowed me to skip through a lot of these blockages really rapidly and get to the actual causal emotion and release that causal emotion. But it's your willingness to release the causal emotion that's going to define how rapidly this all works for you. Most of us are very, very unwilling because we see this emotion as a very powerful, overwhelming emotion that's going to destroy our lives. In most cases, that's the way we feel. And it is going to be a powerful and overwhelming emotion. That's why we wrap it up in all this cotton wool, trying to protect it. But in the end, what we need to do is just allow ourselves to experience it. If you allow yourself to experience it completely, you will find it will be gone, and also you will find there will be no reason for any layers above it anymore. So all of the layers will be gone over that emotion as well. So, you can say there's a few ways to access it. You can access the block and go down the blocks that way, or you can really start focusing on the core emotion inside of yourself. So that's what we'll talk about a bit today.